Art, art is a mirror of life. It shows you things of yourself that maybe you, you didn't realize. And uh, with each new discipline, like now the glass, it makes me discover more about myself. I'm Mireille Swinnen. I'm from Belgium. I live with my husband, who's a diplomat. We, we get to meet very many interesting people. And um, my, my main line of work is mosaics. Um, I've tried every single discipline there is in, in my life. Started out with drawing and painting and sculpting and all kinds of things. But then mosaics came along and that kind of combines all the skills that I have. And I think it's wonderful to be able to sculpt in a matter that is glass and that reflects light or absorbs light. That is a little bit 3D like a sculpture. It reminds me of ceramic sometimes. So it's a really cool medium for me to, to express myself. Yeah, I have quite simple messages, I think, but very essential things. Um, one of them is motherhood. Um, we lived in Africa for a while and Fertility is also a very big thing in, in Africa and what always grabbed me were the fertility symbols, these kind of um, images of people with wide hips, big breasts, kind of rounded shapes. I, I really like them a lot and I've, I think I've kept that in my work. Whenever I make a figure, it tends to be a pear shape and that pear shape has kind of become um, the image for me of fertility and of motherhood. So. Maybe it comes through my, um, my history. I was raised by my grandparents, so I kind of started out um, yeah, with a different kind of mother, a different uh, kind of parents even. My mother became very sick when I was a baby, and so my grandparents started to raise me. And that also kind of influences me, I think, in who I am, because um, I enjoy very simple things. When I got this assignment, boy, I, it's like winning the lottery. It's really uh, the best thing that happened to me. So when I came here with my drawings, I discovered that they're a little bit too sculptural, but um, we worked on two uh, so far, and I think they came out just great. So the first one we did is, because this is a 3D and it's very tangible, and it's also easy for them to understand what I, what I'm looking at. Uh, we made this one yesterday. A gradient on the body with two colors, going from gold to ruby, and the little bird in a solid um, form and color in apple green. And it, it was just lovely. And what it adds in glass to the, that the sculpture does not have, of course, is that transparency and how you can see all these different layers. You see the inside, you see that big bubble, and you see a clear layer, and then a color layer, and another clear layer. And I think it's so wonderful as you turn it, how that constantly changes. Today we did this piece, shepherd. Shepherd looking up with a deer around, wrapped around his shoulders, and then the bottom part became this um, minimal vase-like body, and that's where the stripes were, were put in. But it really picks up the piece, I really like. I haven't slept for, for weeks and even months, I can say that. I have been living up to this, thinking what, what should I be making and how, and, but it's gonna take me the rest of the year just to digest this and to see what I'm gonna do with it. I definitely wanna do more of this. That's, that's a, really a certainty that I have now because this is, this is amazing. I'm, I'm very 3D, very sculptural, and this is, because this is this is beautiful. This is really beautiful.